Hello, it is Thursday, and you're with Tony Tesler. And I think I just found my video quick, so that is unusual. Okay, so I'm gonna, um, hopefully I can see comments this time because last week that was a whole big thing that my comments never came up so that I could see them and people were commenting. So I hope I don't have those same problems this week. Um, but when you get here, say hi, just so I can see uh, if it is working. Cause right now I don't see anything. Um, and if you're doing, if you're uh, watching this later, either on YouTube or on Facebook, just do um, hashtag replay so I can see that. I'd appreciate it. And I think we're rolling, so let's get going. So today is uh, December 17th, and I'm Tony Tesler. Um, today I'm going to do gift card ideas, um, something like, something more fun and different than just putting it in a card or a, an envelope or something. Um, and I'm going to be using three different sets, Cherish the Season, Poinsettia Petals, and Tag Buffet. And let's just jump right in. Um, so I've got my sample used up gift card that I keep for sizing. Um, so I'll have that. And the first one is going to use something that we all have and a toilet paper roll, for real. So this makes a cute little holder and it's pretty sturdy, um, depending on your, you know, how sturdy your toilet paper rolls are. Um, but I like it because I've already got this one tied up, but you'll see the gift card fits right in here. And I mean, it's awesome. So I made it with a little tag, a little handle, so you can hang this on your tree. Um, so let's start with a paper, uh, toilet paper roll. We're an Angel Soft family here. So uh, this is, and I know some of them are not the same size. All right, again, so say hi if you're here, because um, I, again, I'm not seeing comments. And maybe I have to refresh. Let's try that because I don't want to have to go through the whole thing like I did last week and I couldn't see any of the comments last week. That was so disappointing. Um, all right, we'll see how it goes. So I see one eyeball and hmm, this is totally weird. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna have to roll with it again and hope these comments come up later. Although this seems to be not moving right now. Hmm. All right, on with the show. Um, so toilet paper roll. Mine is Angel Soft and it is about three and three quarters inches wide. Um, I started with a six by six piece of paper. So let me bring that in. Um, and this is from the, uh, what is that pack? Oh, I'm trying to reach for it. I only have a little bit left. Wonder of the Season specialty paper. Hey, Gail, you did make it. Leslie, good, awesome. Okay, thank you girls for posting because I couldn't tell. I thought I was in the same boat as last week with the comments not showing up. All right, whew. Okay, back to this gift card holder. Um, Wonder of the Season paper. This is the one that has uh, gold foil and black and white on one side, and the other one is a red foil and um, black and white on the other side. Um, so six by six, and I'm gonna trim this down. Uh, let's first start with, we just smash our toilet paper holder. And I mean, you could even do this with a paper towel holder, I'm guessing. You could make something really huge. Um, so see how the, the edges there got a little, like it wants to break? That's okay. This is just our, like the housing unit for our gift card holder. So I wanna staple this closed at the bottom. Oh, and of course I ran out of staples. Okay, hmm. 
I really do need that stapler. So we're going to have to take a station break one second. I know I have my staples here somewhere. Oh, here we go. All right. And I know Gail found a source for us for when I run out of these. These teeny tiny little Stampin' Up staples. Of course, they weren't some standard size, right? But Gail, I think you found them at Staples, right? Let's get this out of the way. So this, let's see, we squeeze out a little bit, wrap this whole thing around, open it, put a roll of staples in. And I have tried to put two rows of staples in at a time and it does not work. Hey Sue, almost in time, that's cool. I had some issues anyway, so you didn't miss anything. So our first gift card holder is gonna be using a uh, toilet paper roll holder. All right, now I trim this by hand. Um, I'm gonna put, I want the seam in the back. So I'm gonna run sticky strip all the way down and across the bottom here. And let me just show you the seam, um, it does cover it, the six inches. It looks like it overlaps by maybe a half an inch. So I guess if you're, um, depending how wide your roll ended up flattening, you might have to check the measurements on that. Um, but I'm going to use sticky strip and I'm just eyeballing because I want it to go to the very edge. And I'm going to do this on both sides. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of liquid glue just for good measure. Why not? All right. And I'm going to get, let's see, let's start with this side. So I'm going to peel this up. So did anybody else get snow? Well, Leslie, I know you probably did, right? Yeah, we had about three inches. And then of course, Dave decided to go out to the store and his car is not meant to be driven in the snow. So he got stuck. And then I had to go get him, push him out of the intersection. That was a whole big thing. All right, now I'm lining this up. On the first one, I lined it right up to the edge and I don't like that I can see that brown part really no sue i didn't expect you guys got me right funny so i'm gonna hang this off um about that much what is that like a three sixteenths a quarter inch or so so let's get that going and i think that's straight straight enough right no snow here in belgium very nice sophie is that normal to not have snow at this time. I don't know. Um, I don't know the season's not good. All right, let's do some liquid glue. Like I said, just for good measure. Now I want to, I want this to stay flat and I'm just pressing. Actually, let's press it this way because I want, I'm going to fold this. I want these seams to press down. Okay, I'm gonna give that a good push. A combo of snow and ice. Well, I'm not looking forward to that. Nice, 10 inches in Michigan. See, I wouldn't mind a lot, like the few inches and then it gets icy and slushy. I'm not a fan of that, but if it was just gonna dump on us, then great, because then I could like plan on not leaving the house for a few days. All right, so let's bring this other side in. So I've got sticky strip here, all across the bottom and then there's some liquid glue there and I'm just gonna press fold this in and I want my the seams to line up down here on the end here we go and then I'm just pushing this with my bone folder scraping it and now to find out where I had to cut it all I did was I folded this back and forth and I did cut it by hand. I suppose we could have measured and trimmed that ahead of time. Um, 
but I was fine with just doing that. I might do a little bit. There we go. Hmm, it's normal, Sophie. You don't have much snow here anymore? Okay. So it's the whole global warming. I just picture something like Belgium being that idyllic, you know, snow covered everything and chilly. But I know it's not like that all the time. Okay, so let's get back to, um, this is what we're making. So just so you can see the gift card hole, it slips right in there. Now this, see how it stays like kind of popped open? That's why I didn't feel the need to take a hole punch and like punch in, you know, a half circle because this really stays open and you can fit a couple of gift cards in there, I'm sure. So we're just gonna put the one in and actually, I'm gonna save that for later. We're gonna act like there's one in here. And first I tied this closed with some gold glimmer ribbon and I just eyeballed this. Okay, let's go about there. And I took this, let's make it even. I hear the garage going, so I think my husband's back. All right, and I'm just gonna tie this in a knot. And this was a little bit tricky as far as like holding the knot in place. Um, but I got it. All right, so. I'm gonna hold this with my one finger because I have 10, I might as well use them all. all right, let's tie that in a knot. Nice, and then just pull these up and tie a knot at the top so we have something we can hang this off a tree or whatever you want. All right, and now to get the bow, that's a separate piece. Um, and I found this was just the easiest way to, to do this was have it to be two pieces. And that looks about enough. I'll put this away. Very much like France weather, nice. So we went years ago over to um, Amsterdam and that was in the spring um, and it was poor planning on our part because we thought we were gonna be there for the flowers like to see all the tulips and stuff and we missed that by a couple weeks um, that was disappointing but it was pretty over there it was nice and then we went over to um, Austria for a bit and then Italy so yeah the weather was nice um, the one thing I remember is our luggage got lost and it went to a fraternity house down the road from our hotel. So we didn't have clean clothes for two days. That was nice. An adventure. Okay. Um, now I've got this whisper white piece. Now I die cut this with the tasteful labels dies and I'm just going to stamp this in black. And this is, this is the only stamp that I'm using from this cherish the season set is, and you can see, I didn't put my stickers on here. Um, is the two from because I didn't want anything really hanging off Like I didn't want to put Merry Christmas and have it Go across the whole thing. Oh, this just fell off Okay, um, where's my black ink pad? Hmm. Let's go with the VersaFine And I'm gonna hope this is straight ish Oh, nice, I got it. All right, and let that dry for a minute. And then I die cut from the gold foil, um, these little, the bells. And there's another, there's a larger size bell. So I just did the, the three other sizes. Oops, and I wanted that holly to stay in there because um, I just want it to, let's see. Of course, that's the wrong way. So I'm gonna put some glue dots, I mean some dimensionals on the back of here, and I'm gonna put it right over top of these holly bits that I want to stay in place. 
and let me see hopefully this is dry enough I would hate to smear it all right so we're gonna do some dimensionals all down the side now you could do this for um, birthdays too you know or anything really it's just that that's what we're making right now is holiday stuff all right let's put that right on there and then when I place these I want to leave some room left to write some things and I started with the biggest bell um, and by the way oh god my glasses are sweaty so I just read um, on the Stampin' Up! website uh, apparently these Bell's dies are, they ran out of stock. Like they're, you know, that was part of the sale and this was the bundle. Um, so I guess we're not going to get, be able to get these Bell's. I guess I'll probably be selling these if somebody wants them later. I'm surprised that um, a lot of this stuff has gone so quickly. All right. And I want, actually, let's do it this way. Let's do it different. And then we'll do... A little one here. Actually, let me just cut the end of this off. I hope that fits. Yep, and then this little guy I just put on with a glue dot. He doesn't need to be popped up, really. Um, oh, sticking. Oh, and that stuck to my fingernail. Good Lord. All right, I'll put that there. And then I finished it off with some of these uh, gold glitter enamel dots, which these are not, I don't think these are in the catalog. These were a special, part of a special suite last holiday season. They may have made it in the catalog, um, but for a while they were just, you could only find them online. All right, and now let's see. Mm, that might be a little too big, but we're gonna go with it and where did that go oh it went right on the didn't come off the sheet um, I'm just gonna go with two this time oh that's what I did there too all right forgot what I did so there's our first project toilet paper roll gift card holder and like I said you can hang this on something um, actually, I left that pretty big. You could hang that on a doorknob or your tree. And I like all the gold. So that is one first thing. Next up, um, oops, it's dropping. <coughs> mm, hold on one second. <coughs> mm. Now, I just wanted to say, um, last week, <coughs> mm, sorry, I'm going to clear my throat. <clears> throat. Last week I asked everybody, please sign up for bingo. I got the signups. Everything's good. The uh, packets for bingo, I'm hoping to get those out by Saturday. Um, I just got some of the paper yesterday, so I have to get cutting today and tomorrow. Um, so that's that. So next one, <coughs> mm, sorry, this is using a clear, one of the clear acetate boxes. Now my idea here was, um, you know how sometimes you get gift cards and they've got all the, the cardboard packaging, you know, you like buy them at the grocery store or Walmart or whatever. So you don't, don't necessarily want to rip all that packaging up, um, but it will fit in here. And this is just the, the clear acetate card box. And all we're gonna do is take a piece of designer paper and cut it down and then score it so it like lines the inside. And see on the side here, it doesn't touch. So that piece, you know, you can see down the side of it. Um, but this is cool. And then I thought, well, I'll show you that later. I thought of something else that I can put in these because I've got some little gifts to, to hand out and um, I was, not sure how I was going to package them. And now I know. So this is the poinsettia petal suite. And like I said, we've got um, 
these clear acetate boxes. These come like 10 to a box. And I use these as part of my um, December workshop too. So they come flat like this, but all the score marks are already there. So all we have to do is like fold everything to make it shaped like the box. I feel like that feels weird, but it's all good. Now I do, I fold everything backwards and then forwards with these boxes, just so I'm kind of sure that it's gonna fold in there. Let's go backwards. Oy. And backwards again, and then forward. And one more time. This usually isn't this difficult to deal with. Um, <coughs> it's just that I'm doing it on camera. So of course something has to not go exactly right. All right, and then we'll push these. So the piece of paper, <coughs> mm, sorry. The designer series paper that we want is five and five eighths by nine and five eighths. And I found these measurements online. Um, so you could adjust them. <coughs> mm, sorry. Hold on, I need a little, a little something. Wow. All right. Um, so like I was saying, five and five eighths by nine and five eighths. And you may want to adjust those if you don't like this little bit that um, shows. You know, that little peak that looks like we could use another, I don't know, quarter inch or so, three sixteenths, I don't know, something. But it doesn't bother me enough to um, redo the math. So, got my piece. And I will put these measurements on the YouTube description as well. Five and five eighths by nine and five eighths. We're gonna score it at, bring this scoring thing in here. We're gonna score at a half an inch. And I'm using the, the bigger end of the scoring tool. Half inch and then four and three quarters and five and a quarter. Okay, and that's all we need is those three, those three marks. Ooh. So then we're just gonna fold these, give them a squeeze, and this little half inch one, give it a squeeze. Let me push it down with my bone folder too. Okay, so see how that's how it's gonna go in the box. So that's where the box go. So let's put this in. Um, this will be the bottom. Oops, a piece of my hair stuck to it. Nobody wants that. Oh, come on. Okay. So I'm just gonna scooch this down. And I want it to go there, all the way to the bottom. So that's, I think that's pretty cool. And then you can put your gift cards in there. Um, the other thing that I thought of that's gonna fit in here is I got some of these um, Scentsy car bar things. And I guess this will be, I don't remember what sense I was going to give everybody, but I can fit a couple of these in here too. So it can hold a gift card holder or something like this. All right. I'm only going to get one in there. Hmm. All right. So that's popping up a little bit with both of them. All right. So one it is, that's fine. I'll make do. Alright, get this shut. Come on. 
Okay, perfect. Now I like the flap to go on the back, so this will be our front. But really, any little thing you want to put in there. Um, hot cocoa, hi Betty. Cocoa, um, candy canes, like what I did with the, the December workshop. Whatever you want. Whatever will fit. All right, now for the tag, I cut, um, after I had cut this strip, I had a leftover bit, so I ran it through with the nested stitch labels dies, and that's got that stitching around it. And then I took a piece of garden green to layer it, cut it with the dies, and then I ran it through with the lace embossing folder. Now, I know that most of this is gonna get covered up, um, but the parts that you can see, I like it, I like that extra texture, and then if it flips over, then we can see it. So I'm just gonna glue this on. And I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. And then I brought in, um, this is probably pear pizzazz uh, because I just had a little scrap and I was doing both of these. I'm gonna cut the sprigs out of, with the sprig punch on that. And I've got a two inch circle. Yep, two inch circle of vellum cardstock. And then I'm gonna use a one and three quarters inch circle to stamp, to cut the greeting out. So vellum, and where's my punches? They're all over here. I need this guy. So sprig punch or a leaf punch, whichever punch you have. We just want something green. And hopefully this will fit the scrap. It doesn't have to be perfect. Got it. All right, so let me put this, get this out of the way. And we're gonna stamp Happy Holidays. This is from, like I said, Poinsettia Petals. Um, I thought about doing more with the actual poinsettias, but I liked it, the tag, just to have the greeting and the little, the sprigs of stuff. But there's plenty there to choose from as far as stamps. Um, and then we're gonna use Garden Green. And I think mine is, I think I need to re-ink this because it's seeming a little light. Yeah, that's definitely a little light. Um, I'll have to take care of that later. But stamp that, punch it. And this is an old one and three quarters inch punch. Um, but if you didn't have this punch, you could use uh, the circle dies or a different punch. There's no rules really. All right, tag. I'm gonna punch this hole. This is, Mm, an eighth inch hole punch and I ripped the bottom off so then every time I punch it all these little dots fall out which is fine all right so building this I started with the vellum building our tag and I do this with like most of my tags I like to use a lot of texture and build layers um, so I'm gonna glue this right on and you can see that glue through there, but we're gonna be covering it up, so it doesn't really matter. Now the sprigs, I just took a glue dot, and the tricky part with these is you have to grab it by the bottom. Sometimes you'll stick it on the glue dot and then try to pull it up, and this would stay on the glue dot, and you would rip all the sprigs off. So we just have to be careful with that. Oh, and then that one came right off. And these, I'm just eyeballing where I wanna put them because I know this part is gonna get covered. It's gonna cover it all up right there. So we're gonna use more dimensionals. Now these dimensionals feel a little bit thicker than normal. Um, these came from my last paper pumpkin kit. But like I always tell you guys, save all those bits and use them. All right, now this is curling a little bit and that's just from the glue. That'll settle down when it dries, really. Okay. And then we will put some pearls on it. So 
So I'm still working on, um, these are some of the old pearls that we used to have. And there's, you know, three different sizes, um, but I am, I'm using them all up. And I did a group there. And, and I am making this pretty much exactly the same. And then I put some teeny tiny ones on our sprig leaves, just to use up these little teeny ones. I mean, these are so, so, so tiny. And I think I had one down here. Put that right there. All right, and now we're ready to attach our tag around our gift card box. So I went with the Forever Greenery um, ribbon combo pack. So this has a good gold, um, like very thin baker's twine. And then this vanilla stuff, this is so gauzy. Like it's really, it's really easy to work with. But let's start with this part. Um, this stuff is so thin that I want to double it up. All right, so about that much. Not big on um, measuring. All right, so I'm gonna fold this in half and in half again. This loop is going to go through the front of our tag. And then I'm holding everything in my right hand and I find the loop here. Everything in my right hand is going to go over to the to my left hand. And then pull it through just like that. And then I can see this isn't even, but I want to put a knot up here anyway. So this may be tricky. Get all of this through here. And of course I just cut my fingernails, so that makes it fun. Hmm. Let's see if I can get some help this way. Yep. I'm missing a few little pieces. All right, that is gonna be good enough. And I'm gonna trim all these extra bits away. Anything that didn't make it, it's like cutting that stray hair that won't stay where it's supposed to, just get rid of it. All right, so we've got our little tag holder. So our ribbon's gonna feed through that. And then let's measure some of this vanilla gauze. This really, it does have a nice um, drape to it. And I think I need more than that because I want to make a, a bow. All right. So let's tie this. I tie it in one knot first. And I want the knot to be like up top here. So once, boop, once over. And then when I hold this in place, now I'm gonna bring this tag over and put it through here. All right, and then I'll tie the second knot so this doesn't go anywhere. And then I can flip it around and tie my bow. All right, so tuck that down. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. All right, now when I tie my bows, I do it like I tie my shoes, but I have a better time getting it nice if I turn it upside down. And I'm sure that's just my um, defect or how it works. All right, but see now this will lay nice. Oof, that is really, I like it, very pretty. Okay. So that is another, that's our second. Hey, Diane, sorry I didn't see you. I have to take a minute and like scroll up on my, um, oops, scroll up on my comments and I just pinned something by accident. Well, that was interesting to figure out how to do that. All right, so um, clear acetate gift box to use as gift card holders. So that's number two. 
Number three. Now this is something, um, you know, I like boxes and pizza boxes in particular. Um, so I made this one and the idea is that you could put um, a little treat in with it. So I found these treat cakes, they're little Debbie things um, at the Walmart or at the grocery store or whatever. And I had made this box, like I did the measurements on paper and then I was looking for something to put in it and looking around my room and this fits perfectly. So that was like a happy accident. So we're gonna start with a piece. We're gonna make the box first and um, then we'll do the rest of doodads. So, and I will write the measurements down for you too. So to get this um, perfect size, we need cardstock that is seven and an eighth. I think I need to move all this stuff out of the way. Seven and one eighth by 11. All right, and then we're gonna score it. Let me just draw this out. So this is a general diagram of a pizza box. Now all these bits are the same width and this is gonna be um, one and a quarter. So our score marks here, should I do this in a different color? Let's do blue, why not? Scoring. This is one and a quarter and then 11 minus one and a quarter, nine and three quarters, right? Nine and three quarters. I didn't write that one down. And then going across here, we're gonna do it at one and a quarter and four and seven eighths. I hope this is readable. And then six and one eighth and nine and three quarters. Oh wait, this is not right. This is a seven and an eighth side. I'm gonna have to figure this out and write it down. That's the one thing I didn't write. So let me get my, oh, shoot. And I slapped the uh, camera. I hope that didn't move it. So we said on the short side, we're gonna go one and a quarter. And actually, let me flip this around to see. So five and seven eighths. Let me just update this. One and a quarter, five and seven eighths. Okay, for real. And then we will bring this back. One and a quarter, five and seven eighths. Hi Marty, nice to have you. All right, and then we're going across one and a quarter, four and seven eighths, six and one eighth, and then nine and three quarters. So this will give us our pizza box. And I like that this is, you just need an eight and a half by 11 piece to start out with to get this. Um, Cause I've said it before, 12 by 12, that only gets you an extra inch this way. So it's only gonna make your box, you know, wider this way just by a little bit. Um, but it does help if you wanted a box like wider this way. Um, but generally eight and a half by 11. All right, now let's do our score marks. <clears throat> I mean our cut marks of our, and I'm angling everything really. Oops. So next week, um, I am going to, it is going to be Christmas Eve, um, but I will pop on and have like a few tag ideas because I don't know if anybody's going to need quick tags, like <clears throat> if we're all last minute wrappers, um, but I will be home from work. I'll be here for the day, so I might as well 
come in and say hi and show you just a couple tags. Marvin, first time watching you. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. All right, get all these little bits. Now, I have to pick a side. They're both the same. Um, whether this will be my bottom and this is the top, let's go with it. Um, because I want to attach this designer series paper first, just because it's easier to work with. Um, so I did the trees on this one. And this is three by three by four. So then this white piece is three and an eighth by four and an eighth. Um, and this came from this designer series pack, pack is I'm still using this classic Christmas pack that I think they still have some of these available. This was like the limited time thing. It went with the Kirby bundle. Um, so I did trees on that one. I'm going to do this other side now. Taping that on. And let's put glue. So our box is going to fold over like this. So I'm going to put it here. Man, I hear somebody outside. I hope uh, nobody rings my bell. Because I'm not going to deal with that. Alright, let's hold this there for a minute. Oh, Diane, you're funny. I appreciate it. All right, so that's our top. And now let's assemble our pizza box. So now that I made all this for the scoring and the folding, we're gonna fold everything up and use our bone folder to really press it down. <clears throat> mm. And I'm just gonna work my way around. the truth. <laughs> Diane, how are you settling in? I'll have to call you later when I get to work. All right, so that's our top. Now we want these tabs, this three sets of tabs, that's going to get our tape. And I am still using um, my fast fuse, just because I have a ton of it. <clears throat> Stampin' Up! no longer carries this. They carry something else. Um, Stampin' Seal Plus, which I think is very similar from what I hear. But I think I have probably 10 rolls of this stuff. So I am using my stash. All right, let's get this tape and then we will assemble. So um, this will be the bottom piece. So let's bring these tabs in and meet it right at the corner. And then this one, that middle tab, I want to go there. See how it's starting to come together? And then straight up there. And then we'll do it on the other side. Edge to edge for the corners. Squeeze that, squeeze that. Now, see how these flaps like stick out a little bit? That's just the nature of the beast, but I will, I try to give it a little shove. And this one, I do want to put a little, um, whatever, I have a one inch circle punch, whatever you have laying around. One inch, half inch. I just want a little, little bit there to grab. So this is our pizza box, which will hold our Christmas tree cake. And you could put tissue paper in here too. So if you wanted to line it and make it nice. Um, Marty, okay, so you bring up, they're no longer gonna carry Whisper White cardstock. They're gonna have a white cardstock. It's gonna be called Basic White. Um, but yeah, the factory, apparently the factory that they got it from shut down from COVID. I guess they just went out of business and there was not a lot of notice given. Um, and they have already run out of some paper. Like I tried to order the thick cardstock the other day and they were already out of that. 
Um, they're also out of the note cards and envelopes. Um, and they put a limit on, we can only order two packs of everything else, like for, um, until they run out. But don't worry, they're going to have a replacement. It's just, um, yeah, the factory went out of business. So what are they going to do? They had to find something else. Um, and that is coming. So yeah, don't worry. It's, you'll be able to get, you know, other white. I just got some extra whisper white while I could. Um, but that's that. Okay, so we've got our little cake in here, or treat, whatever, you know, you want to put in here, gift card. And then this folds, this, perfect. This, I just love making a pizza box. Love it, love it, love it. All right, now I went with the Snowflake Splendor ribbon. It's, you know, shimmery and shiny, and this is also part of my um, December workshop. This is actually the freebie that you get if you use the hostess code, um, this one here. So you get the make and take kit and this roll of ribbon. And I ordered a bunch because they put them on the discontinued or retiring list and I didn't want to run out. So I may have ordered too many, um, but that's okay. All right, so just eyeballing that. And I'm gonna tie this in a bow first um yeah i'm gonna do stick with what i did put the bow over here and hold that while i tie a knot yeah marty it's um no worries on the paper like we're gonna be able to we'll have a replacement all right and pull that tight Mm. I love this ribbon. All right. Now for our tag. Let's bring this back in. Um, I told you we we're going to use three different sets. So this is the tag buffet set. And I got this for a different class that I had. There was a tag buffet kit. Which actually I think this tag buffet kit is on sale. I think it's like half off. It was $30. <clears throat> and I had a class for it. And now I think it's only $15 and it makes a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but the stamp set is separate, um, but I like it. And that's what we're using for this tag. So let's start with um, a scrap of Whisper White and I'm doing some embossing here. So I didn't emboss this, um, the ornament on here, but I am gonna do it on this one. Yeah, wow, that's like a huge savings crazy. All right, gold. Got my Versamark. I think I'm done with that. I need to get some of this stuff out of the way. Sorry. The black ink pad. Okay. So I use my embossing body first, and then I'm going to stamp the with love for you. <coughs> mm, sorry. I'm going to go this way. And I'm gonna use my coffee filter to hold my embossing powder. And I like to hit it a couple of times, just because. And then I'll funnel this back in and do the ornament. Um, and then I'll heat it up. And we'll get to see the awesomeness of embossing with that ornament go. And I'm going to hand cut this so I'm not worried about placement. All right, let's cover that up. Now, I realized that um, when I made this ornament, it's got Redskins colors. So uh, I'll have to give that to somebody that likes the Redskins. All right, put that back in. All right, now hold please while I get the heat gun and cook this up.
so I can never tell if the embossing, um, if you guys can actually see that too, see it turn, because that is the coolest part of embossing. That's what gets us every time with the wow factor. All right, and then I'm using this, um, some kind of label punch. I really should have remembered the name of it. I know it was in the spring mini catalog last year with a set. All right, with love for you. And then I'm gonna use, um, let's see, I need more dimensionals. And I'm putting the dimensionals like top and bottom so that that ribbon, I don't wanna tape down the ribbon. Like I want them to be able to untie it if they want so they can actually get into it. Plus I'm gonna have to untie it myself later and redo that to pull out that, um, the fake gift card and put a real in there or something. <laughs> I probably should have thought about that better. All right, so put that right on there. And oh, I just, I love a good box, a pizza box. All right, let's do, um, let's do these colors opposite. Now, I'm not using the blends with this. Um, when you color embossing with blends, it kind of like, it acts funny. So I'm just using the regular ones, regular markers. And this is Cherry Cobbler and Crushed Curry. Like alcohol markers and embossed images, they just don't seem to get along. Um, it makes the embossing like kind of dull. I am the queen of boxes, so you're right. That could be dirty, but it's, it's not. All right, let me give this, yep. So sometimes you'll get the ink will beat up on the embossing. And so you wanna wipe it off with a paper towel or just flip it over and press it on your scratch paper. And I'm just hand cutting this. And this does not take long. And it's cute. And I don't worry that I'm not getting, like it's not perfectly even. Like there's more white spot over here than there. Not worried about it. All right, then I'm taking the uh, Wink of Stella. And I'm just gonna go over everything. Ooh. So that comes off on the cherry cobbler, note to self. So I'm gonna just run this clear like you do with the blender pen and go back at it with, on the curry. Same, same. I know some people have used these to color. They use them like watercolor, water painters. Oh good, Marty. I hope that's helpful. Because I know um, just even putting the measurements down, like writing the measurements, when I do that um, on YouTube, sometimes that just doesn't doesn't do it for some people. So I'm glad that you like that. All right, now let's put this on, let's go on this side that time, or this time. And then we're gonna finish it with, and I'm gonna make it more straight. So this one more whimsical. I think things are whimsical when you like turn them at a jaunty angle. And this, um, I like it straight too. And we wanna finish it with a gilded gem because these are bulkier and more solid looking um, and they show up better versus uh, just some rhinestones. And let's use kind of a big one. The first time I used just a little one. Mmm. Yeah, I like that. I love these Gilded Gems. Love them, love them. Okay. So that is our three gift card holder ideas. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. And so I can bring everything back in. So we've got our pizza boxes. 
And then we've got our clear boxes, clear acetate boxes. And then we've got our toilet paper roll. And like I said, if you don't have toilet paper rolls that you want to use, use paper towel rolls, you can cut them, whatever you want. So let that sit there for a minute. Um, now, last week I told you that I had a bunch of Christmas cards that I wanted to show you. So I'm going to grab these. Um, I want to show you the homemade ones that I've gotten, or the stamped um, and kit ones that I've gotten in the mail. So this is, and I also figured that if nobody wants to watch these, then they can just quit watching the video. That's, it's fine. Nice, Marty. Thanks for doing the replay. Yeah, those first ones, you'll like these. Um, but this was a kit, um, this was a card I got from my friend Viv, and this was a paper pumpkin kit. So I really like these. Um, you know, it comes with all the bits and pieces that we need to make pretty cards. And this is like shimmery, these trees. I love it. This one was from my friend Peggy. And um, I don't know what company this uh, stamp is from, but I love it. I love all different kinds of company stamps, really. Um, but she's got a lot of cool glimmer in here. And I don't know what markers those are, but some crystal effects for these berries and a, a pearl, some the stitched rectangles. I just love it. Um, this was a swap actually that I got from a friend of mine that we do like every month we'll do some swaps just a couple of girls and with this cardinal that she watercolor painted and then the um, the holly leaves too and this is like um, I don't know if she used a toothbrush or some kind of flicking to get this speckles does that show in there oh you know what I just realized I did knock into the camera hold on let me move this a little bit Sorry about that. That went crooked. Ugh. I should have noticed that earlier. Um, but these speckles are very cool. I like it. And then, uh, I like this. So this came from Juanita. And see how she used the puff paint on Santa's beard? And there's a little on the hat, little snow fluffies. Um, they do still sell this like in the craft stores. And it's puff paint. You let it dry and then you heat it. Just like I did with the embossing gun, use the embossing gun and it makes it puff up. That's really cool. I love it. And this from our friend Jamie. I love these sparkly snowflakes. And this polar bear is too cute. I love these papers. I love the plaid. And just the colors. You know, colors really just make everything. I love it. And then a nice slim line from Leslie. Look at this. Oh, and that's the same uh, papers that I used. Funny, I didn't even realize that. I love it. And Merry Christmas dies, and then um, a die cut tree. This is really nice. Like, and you have a a good amount of um, room to write stuff in. So, thank you, Leslie, for that. Um, now, next week, well, let me say, I'm gonna probably have this updated on the blog and in YouTube um, probably by Saturday because I have to focus on getting things cut for bingo. Um, and I am excited about that. Um, and next week, so I do realize next week is Christmas Eve and everybody will probably be busy last minute stuff, but that's why I thought we would do a couple tags just for, um, anybody last minute having to wrap stuff up or, you know, throw it in a gift bag. Um, and then you just want to make a nice tag and it's going to be actually, I'll show you the tags I'm working on. So like these, I like to make like a lot of dimensional ones. Um, so this, let's see. These are going to get given away um, on my calendars. But so in the last month's paper pumpkin kit, the gingerbread kit, it had all these gingerbread house shape tags. So I took them and embossed them all with different folders. And that'll be the base of some tags. And um, then I die cut... Oh, here's one that's finished. For some reason, the white in the paper pumpkin kits and the whisper white, um, they look very different. This looks like vanilla, but it's really not. But, so I'm layering. I cut all these uh, ornaments and embossed them. And I use a new punch. And then I'm going to throw some gems on it. So, that's just a peek at some tags that I'm working on now to go on my calendars that I will be mailing out. Um, so... 
thanks again for being here. It's 12 o'clock. And if I see you next week, that'll be great. If not, have a great Christmas. And I will definitely be back. Um, the following Thursday will also be New Year's Eve, right? And I'll be home. So I'll be here. I don't have anything else going on. Um, I think we're going to do a... We're getting a KISS concert online. I think they're playing in Abu Dhabi or something. Um, so that'll be cool. Anyway, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, thanks for being here, and I'll see you soon.